But it's not just Australia which has a problem with potential corruption. In fact, I reckon we're a long way behind the United States where there have been question marks over the Biden presidency from the very, very beginning. His fitness for office was never questioned by the mainstream media. And that's despite the falls, despite the campaigning from his basement and the regular gaffes. And nor did the legacy media probe too deeply into how Joe Biden managed to become very, very wealthy, despite being a salaried politician for almost all of his adult life. Authorities also covered up the obvious crimes of his crack-smoking son, Hunter, with national security officers actually declaring the evidence on his abandoned laptop as being Russian disinformation. And that was regurgitated ad nauseum through the media and partisan political channels. It was blatantly dishonest, it was deceptive conduct, and it was all designed to protect a man so he could reassume high office and the swamp creatures could all keep the crooked money flowing into their pockets. It was and is dishonest, and it's actually an indictment on what the USA has become. Now they're all at it again. In recent days, it's been exposed the FBI has a credible confidential informant who's been paid in excess of $200,000 by the FBI, and that's testament to his bona fides. And that informant has detailed the payment of a $5 million bribe to Joe Biden when he was vice president. The money allegedly came from Ukraine's Burisma Holdings. Have a look at this. So what, what I can say is this, is this has been going on for many years and uh, there was um, a $5 million payment made to Joe Biden, not Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, the big guy. And uh, this is, um, you know, wow. we, we've been said that we're going after his son, that he has nothing to do with this office. But it's clearly laid out that they used Hunter Biden because he was uh, stupid um, and that he could go through his dad for protection and um, that it would all just go away anyway. OK, I hasten to remind you, the Burisma Holdings was a company that Biden's son, Hunter, was on the board of for a monthly stipend of just a lousy $80,000 or so. The money was allegedly for Biden to get Ukraine investigators to sack the investigator who was actually responsible for investigating corruption in Burisma and right throughout the Ukraine. And Joe Biden, well, he said as much in this interview. It's now went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion-dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to the press conference. Said, "No, I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. All right, the $5 million payment is actually detailed in documents that Republicans in America forced the FBI to disclose. Now, I've no doubt the, these are documents that the FBI wanted to keep well hidden because... They originally refused all the initial requests. And I mention this because it's just another example of how corrupt that particular agency has become in the very dishonest political realm that is now the United States. I hope it's not true, but I think we're headed that way. But while we might be on, the direction, on that direction, the US really is now in banana republic territory. And adding weight to that claim is the entirely coincidental indictment of Donald Trump on the very same day that evidence of Biden's alleged corruption comes to light. Now, you can't really make this stuff up, and yet Democrats in the deep state, they fully expect to get away with it. That's how confident and brazen the dishonesty has become.